Open AI, just open sourced two models. That's really great. And the best part of it is that your MacBook will be able to run it. So in this video, I will show you step by step on how to run it. It's including MacBook, Mac Mini, or any related Apple Silicon device. The software we will be using is called uh, Olama.com. So let's uh, go to type into your address bar, Olama.com. Olama is one of the easy way to running large language model locally using your CPU or GPU or MacBook or Mac Mini. So for MacBook, let's click uh, the download button. It is Mac OS. Make sure that you uh, select that and make sure that you have your, the Mac OS 12 or later. Download, click that. After it's downloaded, double click on that and drag it onto your application directory. Okay, so I think that's it. So you just uh, can click on the Olama in your launch and open on that. So you may need to enter your admin password, which is the password to your laptop. And notice that on your uh, top menu bar, you see there is a Olama icon there, right? So I think, uh, yeah, that's uh, all you need to do. And uh, if you installed it previously, when there is upgrade available, you can see a small notification on that. You can do like a restart to upgrade it. So it's very convenient. So that's great. Okay, so now what we need to do is to open a terminal on your Mac. So if you are not familiar yet, into your launch, into your application launcher, you type the um, terminal, and you can see that there is a terminal. This is the original terminal, but if you install the other terminal, you can use them too. So I, because I installed the iTerm, so I will use that one. On your terminal, you should be able to uh, type Olama and uh, press enter. You see that there is uh, the different command uh, option available. So this uh, gives you an uh, overview of what you can do using this uh, Olama, which we just installed. Okay, so I think that's uh, easy to do, right? So next, let's uh, see like where is the models, how, to, how do we run the urban AI model? So go to the Olama page, click uh, the models, the menu models, click on that, and uh, and you can see that there is a list of the models that you can run. This uh, is the OpenAI GPT OSS. Click on that. So there are two versions on that, 20 billion and the 120 billion. So that's uh, exactly what we need to do. As you can see that the 20 billion parameter model, which uh, needs about uh, 14 gigabytes of uh, space. So it's including RAM or VRAM. For MacBook, it's unified RAM. I think if your MacBook is about uh, 16 gigabytes, you should be able to run that. If you have like 20 or 30 or even more RAM, congratulations, you should be able to run it without any issue. So now if we want to run it, so just uh, click, uh, the, click it to get more information. And then you can see that there is a copy on that. So this is a command, like this is all you need, the Olama run GPT dash OSS. There is a version for that, 20B. So click the copy button or manually copy that. So click on the copy button and then go back to the terminal and uh, paste the command there. One trick about Olama is that you can type a dash dash verbose. So this way it can tell you the speed of the running. So that way you, you can easily compare it across different machine or across different peoples. So that's very convenient trick. Once you type in that, press enter. Because it's the first time running, it will start to download the models. It depends on your internet speed and uh, the model size. So usually it gives you a uh, estimated uh, total time, like remaining time for downloading it. 
So you can t take a cup of coffee or have a rest and come back. Great, we see that uh, I think uh, after the download uh, success, it will load the model into the RAM. I think uh, this is uh, the RAM is used for the GPU. So as we can take a look at it, this is the GPU monitoring. This is the uh, CPU monitoring, and this is the RAM. By the way, if you are interested in also running this on your Mac or MacBook, please check out my previous video on running it. So back to our terminal, we see that we have the Olama running, and uh, then we can interact with it by sending it a message chat. Remember that this model is a reasoning model, so usually you can ask it some difficult questions. So for example, like why is the sky blue? So it will show you the thinking process and then give you the final answer after the thinking. So let's take a look at it. Yep. And pay attention to the GPU and the CPU here. Usually the CPU doesn't matter much, but we see that the GPU is at one, like 100%. And then on the terminal, it just shows us all those thinkings really, really fast, right? So I think the speed is at 37.7 tokens per second. It's, it's really fast. And if we look at the, to like the final response, we see that there is a thinking part the gray, and then there is the final, like after down thinking, it shows us the final answer, which is black. So it's gray to black, and then we can take a look at the final answer is here. The speed is 37.7 tokens per second. I think that's fast. Let's try another one. And another classic question for reasoning model is like how many level are is in the word strawberry. Press enter. Again, pay attention to the GPU and the CPU part. We also see the RAM. We see that it uh, uh, increased to about uh, 80%. There is Olama showing like a 13 gigabytes is used in Olama. So I think this equals to the uh, size of the model, right? So Olama is here. So I think this one is uh, the RAM is used. So if you have at least uh, 14 gigabytes of RAM, you should be uh, able to run that on your Mac. It successfully tells us that there are three occurrence of the letter R in the word strawberry. Okay, so I think I could get it right. Okay, so I think uh, that's it. I think uh, you see that how easy it is. And if you want to see like all those available command, you can see that here is all the things, the show, the load, the save, the clear, the buy, the help, and the shortcuts. And then we can just type a buy to say goodbye to it. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.